and the talk is on hey guys welcome back to our channel jns talks of course i'm show and this is joe hope everyone enjoyed your weekend and you know had a blast stayed safe remain positive um so today we're gonna do another anonymous question by the way hey everybody yeah sorry yeah for the people in the podcast um we're gonna do another anonymous question discussion right because last time we got a lot of good feedback yeah that was a good one yes put it at that yeah (laughs) so last one was intense you know there was a lot of stuff going on and this one is gonna be just the same if not more intense i think this one's even more interesting yeah yeah it looks like it yeah all right, babe, so take it away. All right. So this is a, a, a question that somebody, a, a man, this is from a man's point of view. So, so this is a guy asking for help. So it goes from anonymous. I am a good man. Not a perfect man, but good. I am currently struggling in my relationship because we have four kids. Eight-year-old, six-year-old, and a set of 11-month-old twins. I know that that I contribute more than the average man, and I'm starting to feel like a little B word, as in a little bitch because i cook clean help with the kids pick up and drop off active in church even after a long day of work and talking to people all day i come home and engage in meaningful conversation with the wife by the way this is a lot of grammatical errors in this so bear with me When bedtime comes, she falls asleep with no problem. Sex is almost non-existent. I haven't gotten a cooked meal for me in two years. I haven't gotten a meal cooked for me in two years. Plus, the house is, is messy. I guess he meant always messy. But I'm made out to be the bad guy because I blow up in anger when I bring it up. And try to resolve it. I'm tired of going to counseling. Which most men are against. And I'm tired of talking about the same thing. Am I wrong for wanting to leave? Or is it two meals a week and sex three times a week? Unreasonable? No matter how I say it. She's the victim in it all and when i say i do i said it to a woman you can't call yourself a woman if you don't take care of your husband just like i can't call myself a man if my family is lacking these are basic women duties and i get nothing in return If I sat on the couch all day, I would feel less of a man because I'm supposed to provide. So, that's the man. And his words. Yeah, that's the email that he sent us. Word for word. Wow. Yeah, so he's definitely struggling with a lot. Right? Starting with being the perfect husband, so to speak. Yeah. Struggling. Well, he's at, he, he, it looks like he's doing a good job with all that. Yeah. First of all, um, buddy, keep it up. It doesn't matter what your woman is doing. It's what matters what your kids are seeing. Your kids are seeing a great dad. Because... 
if you're taking care of them, taking them to school, picking them up, drop, you know, dropping them off, picking them up and all this, and you're cleaning in the house, your kids are seeing that. Um, on the other hand, they're not seeing that from their mom, so. No, well, that's just his point of view. When he's at work, she's taking care of them. They have four in kids. Okay. Eight and the six year old in school. Yeah. And eleven just, month old twins. But I'm just I'm just t- telling I'm just telling the guy, first of all, you're doing a good job. That's the way it looks like. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. Yeah. And his his um what he wants is not unreasonable. No, it's not. You know, like I get it. I, I get. I guess what this means is that he is the provider, and she's a stay-at-home mom. Mm-hmm. And he expects for some things to get done at the house while he's working his ass off. Yeah. You know. Okay, you're taking care of my kid, but also take care of the household. You know. Um. Once in a while, I want to just get home and eat something. I get home, take care of the house, make some myself something to eat. Yeah. And all that. That's what he, what he's basically saying. You know, this guy is working all day, gets home, and he has to do more work at home. That's why he's mad at his wife. Yeah, no, I, I understand him. Yeah, and it, and I agree, it could be frustrating. Yeah, definitely. And um, it sounds like he is being <clears throat> he is being sensitive to his wife. Else, he wouldn't have done all that. Else, he wouldn't have put in the effort and the extra work. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So now he's. Yeah, he wants just a little bit more from her. Yeah. Um. <laughs> this is one of those, and this happens a lot, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you have one partner that does more than the other one when it comes to the household, right? And then also you have the, the opposite with the providing part. And it shouldn't be that way. You guys should operate as a team. Yeah. You know, if let's say she's working, I'm going to work at home. You know, I'm going to take care of the house. So when she gets home, she could get home and just lay back. and ah, I'm home and is looking forward to see me. Does the same way, you know, you do to me. Yeah. So, like, thank God that I don't have to deal with that, you know. And But I do understand where he's coming from and how annoying that shit could be. Yeah. You know, you want to get home after working your ass off. You know, you don't want to do shit at home. Like, if you're working... In, Eight to ten hours, which reality now you work more than eight hours mm-hmm. in all these fields now. So I get the dude. And he he said he's talking to people all day. So obviously he's like in some type of sales, yeah, maybe. Customer sales, service customer or... service, or something. Um, or so business dude. Yeah, you know presentations and all that. Um. But it, like he said, he said that I know that I contribute more than the average man. Mm-hmm. And I'm starting to feel like a little bitch because I cook, clean, help with the kids. and Pick up and drop off. P- pick up and drop them off and church, whatever. Um, first of all, you shouldn't feel like a little bitch. Yeah, that's what I was going to um, say. That's not a woman's job. It's a parent's job. 
to cook, clean, and do whatever. Um, you picking up your and that sh- picking ups anything that has to do with your kids is out of the question about whether it's a male role or a female role. No, you're a parent. You do that, right? So you shouldn't feel like a little bitch because of that. Also, men do cook, my man. You know, men do clean. I just finished cleaning. Um, so you shouldn't be. You shouldn't feel like a little b. I understand you might feel like a little b because she's taking advantage of that, maybe. But because you're doing this, no, you shouldn't feel like a little b. Don't yeah. you agree? Yeah, I definitely agree. I mean, I couldn't have said it any better. Um, also, in a marriage, it should be 50-50. Exactly. You know, both of you share the household. It's both your living space. Um, and while I do understand him, I got to say it for my stay-at-home moms, it could be stressful. A lot of people underestimate what stay-at-home moms do. And yeah. she has twins. Yeah, looking looking at that twins. looking at that side. Yeah, let's let's look into this side. So she's with them all the time, right? All day and it's twins, all night, which is crazy shit. Yeah, like we all know. Well, those of us who are parents, guardians, we know that one baby is just for enough. Oh yeah, that sleep routine could drive you crazy. It's always changing. Um, at 11 months old, they're on the go, right? So they probably don't have a nap time as often as when they were newborns. Definitely. And I'm pretty sure with twins, when one goes to sleep, one wakes up. Yeah. It's hard. I've heard it's hard to get them on on the same routine. So even if one wakes up and cries, the other one will wake up and cry too. Yeah. So you gotta understand, like, you said the other two are in school. Yes, the other two are in school, but she has to deal with these other two, right? And when kids come home from school, then she has to deal with all four of the kids. And you say you drop off and pick up. So I'm assuming when you pick them up, you're at home. Yeah. So what, just taking care of four kids alone. I can understand where she won't have the time to cook or to clean or we all know kids are messy. You clean up one mess, they're making twice as much mess in another room. Yeah, that's true. So from everything you've said and, and said that you do, I know that you understand to some extent, which is why you're helping in the first place and you do love your wife. Yeah. So just... Hold on a little bit more and help her understand that time management is everything. Exactly. With kids, time management is everything. And I'm pretty sure dealing with four kids, she feels like she can't rest. Also, you got to understand, even though the babies are 11 months old, that's not a long time for recovery, right? For a woman that just... she. Just gave birth. Time goes by like this, but taking into account hormones. Yeah, she's and probably sleep still deprivation. recovering and all this. You need to watch it because postpartum depression is real also. Yeah. Definitely. So, I mean, what I say is continue what you're doing. Show her the support and the love. Yeah, don't feel like you, a little bitch for the things that you yeah. do. Because those are good things. Because I promise you, in hindsight, when she thinks about about it, and especially in a couple years from now, she's going to be like, wow, my man was really there for me. He really held down the fort while I was dealing with the kids. Because yeah. that goes a long way. And she it might not have the time. Way. She might not have the time right now to... Show you that appreciation, but if she's smart and if she really loves you, right, she will show you later down the line. It's all about patience on both of your behalf. Yeah, both ends. There needs to be patience. I feel like this guy should um communicate. 
you yeah. know um well they're going to counseling yeah they have gone to counseling yeah that's true yeah they have but gone sometimes to counseling. sometimes counseling doesn't work yeah because because it's i've always said it it's you and your spouse no one else you guys know what's going on in the household yeah you guys alone know your relationship you know that should be the next topic counseling yeah you know a lot of people want to go to counseling and all this crap couples counseling yeah couples counseling and stuff like that no individual counseling is is a different ball game it's good um but yeah couples counseling i'm in the fence about that yeah so am i but yeah um they got a counseling and it hasn't worked and like you said yeah it's it's a it's between them you know the problem is between them and he feels like all he needs is just a little i feel like he just wants that little appreciation mm-hmm. for the things that he does you know maybe also you should appreciate the things that she does yeah because there's always two sides to every story i'm pretty sure she like you said it you have an 11 month you have two twins you have twins that are basically about to be a year which is crazy yeah that time is crazy yeah 11 months and all this problem you know this whole past year or probably pregnant the past two years right has been a lot for you so i understand you you got to pick up the slack because she's pregnant you got to pay up the kids you got to do this you're doing something that is a parent thing you know you're not doing a woman's job don't feel like a little bitch Mm -hmm. don't feel like oh yeah i'm less of a man because i'm doing this and i'm not getting something in return no what you need to do is go talk to her straight up and tell her look this is straight up how i feel you know and all I want is this, this, and that. And have a conversation. Exactly, because he said, but I made out to be the bad guy because I blow up in anger. See, that? That's the thing. It's all about the approach. You can't blow up in anger. That's what people, the ego. Yeah, and besides that, even if you are right, she's, all she's going to see and hear is the tone your you being angry is just gonna completely turn her off and she's not gonna wanna hear what you have to say. Oh yeah, people like once you put the wrong approach to uh you know, let's say you wanna talk to her about something, right? And you go and start you know, you blow up, you know, I want this, blah 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 blah. That's it. That's all she's going to hear is blah, 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 blah. Whatever you say after that is getting blocked out. It's not registering because the way you went about it was not the right way. So maybe, my man, if you take a deep breath, talk to her in a nice way, maybe do a nice gesture, and then talk about it, in a good way and any and let's say she says something that you don't like just eat it up and just get your point across just get it across and that's it you get it across and let's say even if okay she doesn't she's like oh whatever let her marinate on it because if you if your approach was different than every other approach, she's gonna think about it. Trust me, you will think about things when mm-hmm. it comes to stuff like that, you know. And if all if everything else fails, then like I don't want to say it. What? If 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 this just keeps happening, like 
if they, you know. Oh, keep butting heads and stuff like that. But it, but I don't I don't feel like they they're butting heads like that. No, though. you just have to be. Um... I just feel like he he's 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 the one that's more annoyed than anything. I don't think it's like a, a two way you know battle. I don't think there's a battle going on. Yeah, I think you it's... just have to be patient. And I know you've been patient, but you have to be more patient. Because being a mom is hard. Being a mom and wife is hard. But and, and even even though I 100% agree with and and not even just agree, like respect the thing he's doing mm-hmm. and all that. And I'm on his side, actually. You know, I'm definitely 100% on his side. And I understand them. But at the same time, this is a relationship and it's, you know what I mean? Even though there's no right or wrong in a relationship. Just because you're right doesn't mean that your problem is going to get fixed if somebody else comes in with, oh, yeah, he's right. No. That's why counseling doesn't work. Yeah. You know, like, or whatever it is. You guys need to get together and communicate. This looks like a communication problem. You know, at first when we had little dramas and stuff Mm -hmm. it was always what communication because once we communicated and got our points across everything went back to normal perfect exactly once i learned how to actually listen instead of just responding you know because that's how a lot of people are they get in an argument and they're not even listening to the other person. They're just already thinking about their comeback. Exactly, yeah. That's not how you solve problems. And I feel like in this one, I feel like since he feels he's right and right and all this stuff, I think he's getting a little bit too aggressive with her. So maybe take down your tone. Mm-hmm. You know, not, not maybe, definitely. Tone it down. You yeah. know, so she can like actually listen to you people don't tend to listen to somebody that's yelling yeah and screaming so he's he asks am i wrong for wanting to leave my answer to that is yes you you are 100 percent wrong because you have to think about it is this really bad reasons for you to leave because you're not getting sex because you're not getting a home cooked meal but you have to think about what your wife is doing she's taking care of your kids you know and instead of complaining about you're not getting a home cooked meal how about you do her meals right which you say you do but like make it romantic or do it like when the kids are asleep and cook together Make it fun for her, right? And you said that you don't get sex, right? That yeah, maybe. you come home and you still engage in meaningful conversation. That right there, the fact that you're even saying that, you're, you see it as a chore. It's yeah. not, it's not, how can I say it? You shouldn't be getting points for wanting to talk to your wife. If yeah, you don't want to talk to your wife and... You have to put that much effort into it. Well, then, why are you with her in the first exactly. place? Exactly. That's what I'm getting to. Like, yeah. if that's the way he feels, like, it's, like, you know, like, it's forced and stuff, then maybe this wasn't meant to be. Yeah. You know, and I, I like, again, I hate seeing stuff like that, but the way, and, and this might be just him in anger. Mm-hmm. Which which it is. It sounds like it. Yeah. So I don't. I think that this is just a communication problem. They have two kids already that before this whole thing that are old. Yeah. So eight and six years. Obviously, something is was going was going well. Exactly, because you guys had twins. And then exactly, and Recently. then you guys had twins. So something was going good, and then. I guess now you're noticing because, you know, she has twins. She's probably doing less work. You're doing more. 
to understand you, my brother, but you need to understand that it's a two-way street. It's a partnership. And you need to understand where she's going through. And then you also communicate how you feel. Yeah. And don't do it in anger. Keyword. Chill out. Yeah. Definitely. And he goes, um, when bedtime comes, she falls asleep with no problem. Sex is almost non-existent. What can I say about this? Well, a few things. Um, do you just for, uh, go and just want to just have sex? Exactly. Because that's, that's not... Because there's a difference between having sex and making up. Exactly. That's what I was going to get to. And if you make it romantic, like people think sex and intimacy is synonymous. It's not. Right? From being intimate, that's where sex happens. Making love yeah. happens. And, well, I don't know if she's breastfeeding or not, but if she is, that's where half of her energy right there is going. Yeah. And that does. Take so she, a lot of yeah. sexual energy also off. Yeah, that. And she needs to sleep. She needs to sleep to keep up with those twins. Right? Yeah. We're just talking about the twins. We're not yeah. even talking about the other, kids. the other two kids who, ha- who come home with homework, who have the eight year old has tests coming, state tests coming up, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Like all the school, school is, we gotta remember, school is getting more serious. For those two kids. Yes, it is. Plus the twins. So she may not voice it, but she has a lot of stuff on her mind. Yeah, this is a, yeah, it's and, stressful. And that's another thing that 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 maybe your wife is one of those that just likes to just keep things to herself. You know, like because maybe you guys haven't established that openness. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe this is time to work on that. You know, just by you opening to how you feel, maybe she'll open to how she feels. Yeah. You know? Um, so, what was it that we were saying? What can we say about that part? What was that part again? Oh, about the sex part. Um, oh, yeah. That she falls asleep without a problem. Yeah, so, like, if people, when people are tired, they sleep. You know, maybe lead up to it before she, maybe while she's getting ready to go to sleep. Maybe, you know, you give her a little massage, do a little thing, you know. Kiss her up. Whatever. You know, mm-hmm. just don't go and like, oh, yeah, come on, let's go. <laughs> you know, because a lot of guys just expect it like that. Yeah. And that's not how a female works. And he he sounds like he's waiting for her to initiate it. Yeah, that's Because she falls thing. asleep without a problem. You initiate it. Initiate, like, a lot of guys, they got to understand, like, especially when with, with kids and stuff, you need to initiate it. Also, because maybe she's thinking the same thing. Does he like me? Exactly. That's maybe you guys are to. thinking the same shit. And because the communication is not there, this is happening. Mm-hmm. And usually when there's a good, intimate relationship, that transfers to the whole relationship. The whole relationship exactly. fixes up because communication comes out naturally that's the that is the miracle of intimacy and romance in a relationship you guys can fix that a lot of other things fix up not just sex and that's it i'm talking about like sex and intimacy and romance you know if I can make that work. I'm pretty sure everything else will follow naturally. Exactly. You know? And I feel like this is the problem with this with this couple. 
unlike the other couple, which was a no go, like get yeah. the fuck out of there. <laughs> this one is, I feel like, from what we could see, it's a. Uh, I feel like it's repairable, very repairable. Yeah, it is. It's just all about communication, like you said. And he has to think. He's only thinking on the surface. You need to think deeper. Because another reason why she's not initiating sex, maybe her self-esteem is low right now. She just gave birth less than a year ago. You know, a woman's body changes. She may not be feeling the same. Besides the libido whatever just the physical appearance she may not be feeling herself so are you complimenting her? are you showing her that you're still attracted to her are you making her feel good about herself all that comes into play when a woman wants to be with her man or not like you know she's yeah. probably thinking about oh my god my breasts are not perky or i got a stomach now he's not gonna be attracted to me so you have to show her all of that. Yeah, you're right. It could be that's a that's a good one. Mm -hmm. You know, like that could be a part of it and why she's like that and why in turn he feels like that way and he views it in that that yeah. manner. You know, like it needs is they always say a relationship is a two way street. It's too, yeah. With when it comes to that counseling stuff, you know, just forget that crap. Yeah, I suggest you guys eliminate the counseling. Talk to her and just be like, "Can we just try you and I for a week or two, right?" Exactly. Just I think, forget about the counseling. Yeah, and and also don't. I think maybe they're concentrating a lot on the kids, and mm -hmm. I get it. It's hard. It's kind of hard with you know twins. And so, but maybe you guys need a weekend off, maybe grandma or some type of family member, yeah. you know, could take care of the kids for one weekend yeah. and have a weekend for yourselves. Even if it's just the two older kids, because if she's breastfeeding the, the babies, that's going to be hard, exclusively yeah. breastfeeding. But even if you take away the two older kids... That'll be half of the... Yeah, that'll be half of the thing. thing. Yeah, send them away, you know? Yeah. And then every single time when, you know, is is only yeah two for the most part, you got the twins, when they knock out or whatever, you guys have one-on-one -on -one time, mm -hmm. you know, to just strain out everything. And a lot of people think that in order to spend time together, it has to be out of the house. No, or, no. you can have an at-home date. You can have a movie night. You can have a candlelit dinner. You could give each other massages. There's so many things. You have to be creative. Yeah. The key thing here is communication, creativity, paying attention to each other. Yeah. In this and, case, and your wife may patience. feel lost. Patience. Yeah. A lot of patience. So you pay attention to her. Just eliminate the household. It, right focus on your wife as a person and as your wife yeah and like yeah my dude i feel you on the on the yeah that like you're doing your stuff you gotta do when you get home you gotta do things but sometimes as a man because what if your wife was working too mm -hmm. and she would come home and what you're not gonna do the dishes what well, she has to do them so is that fair then? So that should even be a factor there because it's it's your house too. Yeah. Like who made who made it the the standard that a woman needs to do the dishes and cook and clean? Like I get it, you need some you probably want some help. And that's what you need to communicate to your wife. Maybe you know, maybe you should help out in this or Let's split the housework. I'll do this and you'll do this. You'll give her the easier things. Yeah. Be since she has to deal with the twins. And you do the harder things. You know, th things like that is mm -hmm. what you need to work on. But 
um, how he asked the question, like, am I wrong for wanting to leave or is two meals a week and sex three times a week unreasonable? The sex part, that tells me that you don't make sex romantic because who puts a number on sex yeah. per week? Yeah, it's that's not another like, thing that he needs to reevaluate. Yeah. Sex is supposed to just happen. Well, if it's scheduled or you're demanding it a certain amount of times a week, it becomes a chore. And you don't it's, want that. Nah, it's, that's not, and that's not how it works. You yeah. Know? That's, like, not, that's just not how it works. You know, maybe she's not wanting sex because you're not putting that romantic effort into it. Mm-hmm. You know, it all goes back to biology. I always say it. But women like to be serenaded they like to be chased they like to be romanced all that stuff and maybe your wife needs some of that because she just had these kids and maybe like she says she feels oh she might feel ugly and it's your job to prove her otherwise and then maybe if she gets you know she feels better you initiate the intimate part of um, intimate things and all that. You massages and all this, and, and it, it will lead to sex and all that. And as it, you know, organically, as it happens more and more, you'll see the relationship changing. Yeah, yeah, I'll get back on track. Or it'll be even better than before. And you could communicate even more. You know about what's going on and this and this and that and she'll be more open to listening to you you know like just how you have your needs she has hers too maybe she's not voicing them maybe you're not voice because it sounds like maybe you're not voicing them either maybe you, and when you are voicing them you're voicing them in a bad way so how about you start and just do. Just do the good thing. Just do the romantic things. Don't worry about talking now. Just do what you got to do on your end. And when you see a turnaround, then you start talking in the correct way. Yeah. Like, hey, honey, you know, maybe we should split, you know, the housework. I know you're doing this. You know, yeah. I know you're taking care of the twins. And when I get home... I'm tired, and I got to wash the dishes and all this. So how about we break this into this? You know, when you have time from the twins, maybe you could do this. Then when I get home, I'll do this and like that. We're both not tired. Yeah. And yada, yada, yada. Or, you know, being a stay-at-home mom, it could get tiring. You're with your kids all the time. And no matter how much you love your kids, being around your kids and no other adults can literally drive you crazy. I was like, damn, all I see are kids. All I gotta do is change pampers, feed, clean their asses. It was like a whole bunch of shit, right? Yeah, the best mom will feel it's like that. It's repetitive. And any mom that tells you, oh no, I'm so happy to do that all the time. Nah, she's lying. Okay? <laughs> I'm sorry, she's lying. There's no... There's no shame in admitting, yes, taking care of your kids get tiring, it, right? Yeah. For you stay-at-home moms. Don't worry about it. Just, we've all been there. And but, even though there's some moms that feel guilty about it, you shouldn't feel guilty because you're human. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. So yeah. where I'm getting at, um, when you come home, right, if you don't want to do the dishes, be like, hey, babe, let me take the kids off of your hands, and how about you take the dishes off of my hands? I, I guarantee thing. you, they'll be like, okay, yeah. Because I'm pretty sure you come home, do the dishes, whatever, 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 and you don't, you sound like you don't spend time with your kids. You just drop them off to school, pick them back up, and that's it. Because you didn't, I could be wrong, but you didn't mention anything about you spending time as a family or spending time with your kids alone. Yeah. Sometimes your wife, like, will need that alone time or just 
even if it is doing housework because cleaning could be therapeutic depending yeah. on who you are mm-hmm. right as long as you give her an hour away from the kids i'm pretty sure she'll be happy to do anything else that's another point. I mean, yeah. it all depends on who you are. We don't know you personally or your wife, but these are just suggestions. And like we Instead always say, you just wanting to leave. Yeah, ex- yeah, exactly. Like that's that's the last resort and stuff. Like before you have tried everything humanly possible to, you know, because you guys got like four kids now, and I always say don't ever stay because of the kid if that's the only thing but exactly. i feel like obviously there's something between you that you lost somewhere and that there's she's not like he said nothing about attraction is not there obviously he wants to have sex with her mm-hmm. so the attraction to her is there you know, and I'm pretty sure vice versa too. So, and it's not like they he mentioned any other problems, just, yeah, that, just that, just this issue. So, I'm not saying that it's a small issue, but I'm saying it's an issue that can definitely be solved. You know, because definitely not it's not a walk in the park. Yeah, I get it. A lot, but and that, and that's what I was saying. That's what we were saying a couple of podcasts ago. That having a babies is, is such a beautiful thing, but it's stressful as hell. Also, yeah, it definitely is. As much as you love your kids and stuff, it's you can take a you toll. Can, you can ask anybody. Yeah, straight up. And y'all not the first, and y'all not the last. Yeah, which is why we're saying don't leave. It's not a valid reason to leave. Yeah, it's not and you have to think not. about when your kids, like, let's say you do break up with her, right? And your kids, when your kids get older, and they ask you, Dad, why'd you leave? You have to think about your, your answer. Like, what are you going to say? Oh, your mom wouldn't sleep with me and she wouldn't cook for me. So that's why I left. Does that make sense? Yeah, that's not good. If those are the only two reasons. Yeah, that's not. It's fixable. It's not cool. The kids are going to be, like, that ass. Yeah. Like, for real. That's why you broke up. And you have to think about your marriage vows, for better or for worse. Yeah. See, this timing is is tricky because you have new babies, and I'm pretty sure you guys are happy about that. But it's also a stressful time. Yeah. So this is better and worse at the same time. Like, you know? Yeah. So you have to stick it out. You have to put in more effort. You're not going to get brownie points for, oh, because you're excited to talk to your wife. That's what a good marriage is about. Yeah, exactly. Like, uh, I don't know why guys think that, oh, yeah, I do this. So in return, I should get this. And as a partnership, you do things just because you want to do them. She does things just because she, because it's a relationship and it makes you guys happy and running your household should be a thing that shouldn't be counted like oh yeah i do this or you should do this and you, no exactly it everything should just happen organically you do your thing you, you you hold your end of the bargain to maintain your house she does her, her thing and it shouldn't be something that is thought out you know like like that in the first place in mm-hmm. this situation does need to be communicated that certain things should operate a certain way. Yeah. So that's my thing. You know, communicate, communicate, communicate. And be romantic. Being romantic can go along. Be romantic. So, yeah, definitely, you know, she just gave birth. Or this, this is her third pregnancy, four kids. But he's not feeling as sexy as she used to. How about you make it your priority to make her feel how she used to feel. Make her sexy again. Exactly. And that's, as a man, that's, and as her husband, 
That's your job to make it feel like that. Because trust me, if you don't, another guy will. Oh. Straight up. <laughs> it's true. If it is you, true. Wanna, you, you, you wanna get into the extremes? If you don't, another guy will make your wife feel beautiful. And now you're really gonna have a bigger problem. Yeah. Because naturally, everybody wants to be loved. And if you're not showing that, she's gonna find somewhere else. You know? So, like I said, we could be wrong with the whole thing, but this is the way it's looking. It's like you're expecting sex just because you do this, because you make mad money, and you do this, and you just expect that at the end of the day, like, yeah. get something that must be given. You should be doing things out of love, not exactly. because you want something. So, reevaluate why you're doing things, mm-hmm. and also reevaluate the way that you approach sex and romance you know be be more romantic and even on this topic like don't don't come at her hostility and anger is not gonna get you anywhere yeah so don't be hostile be more romantic and do things just because you want to not because you're expecting something out of and that's it. But I got for you, my man. Right. And for everybody, I hope that you guys, you know, got something out of it. Because mm-hmm. this was this is something that kind of happens often in different, you know, in different ways and different mm-hmm. levels and all that stuff. And like I said, you're not the first couple and you're not the last. Exactly. As no always. matter how many kids... How many kids you have. It's always a new experience. And you're always going to learn something new. And not every birth and pregnant, thereafter and is every, not going to be the same. Yeah, every pregnancy, every birth, every kid is not going to be the same. Mm-hmm. So don't expect somebody to act a certain way. You know, don't ever assume. we heard that term a lot. Exactly. So yeah, so that's what I got for him. That's what I got for ya. Um, if you guys found this useful, you guys know what to do. Like, subscribe, share, and stop, yeah. How about subscribe? Yeah, right? how about we're getting like views it and, and no subscribe. Yeah, nah, but I, I see you guys. You guys are gonna subscribe. <laughs> but yeah, um, again, if you if this is gonna touch a lot of people so yeah. if you know somebody remotely going through something like this send them the link share it you know because everybody could listen to somebody else's problem and see that maybe their problem is not that big and yeah. the solution to this problem could be the solution to theirs mm-hmm. so do your friend that favor yes. send them over here Definitely. And if you guys have any advice for this couple or for anyone watching it, you know what to do. Comment. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're listening to the podcast, then there's a comment section on Podbean. Right? iTunes. Yeah, um, all that. Send, send or us email, email us, DM us, you know, JNS Talks. Our social media handle for yeah. all platforms. Janice Talks. Janice Talks at Facebook. Janice Talks on Instagram. YouTube. Twitter, Twitter. All of that. Yeah, Twitter. You guys send those DMs through there or through Instagram. Gmail is js at com. Everything will be in the description below. And hit that subscribe button down there. <laughs> And yeah, that's, that's all about it. Yeah, everybody have a good week. Stay positive. Drive to achieve those goals. Don't let anyone bring you down. Don't ever let anybody tell you that you can't do what you want to do. That's what I'm going to leave you guys. All right, everybody. Until next time.
Bye, guys. Bye-bye.